Here we go, my friends, version 2025.18 that apparently not only has the new energy app, but has faster charging theoretically. You know, way back when, when I first got my truck, um, you know, about a year and a half ago or so, essentially charging from 10 to 80% took about uh, the mid to low 40 minutes or so. I think the fastest was about 42 minutes. Since that time, in the past year and a half, it has improved even before today's update, all the way down to about 38 minutes. It's actually improved by like three to four minutes. And theoretically, what Rivian says is this may improve things even a few minutes more. So let's go ahead and find out. We're here at a Tesla supercharger um, here late at night. It's 1030 at night, 59 degrees. It's like half full. I'm really kind of shocked it's this full. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get on the charger and get going. Uh, the battery is a little bit warm, um, but that's what happens when, you're, when your state of charge is so low, it actually kind of kills the preconditioning. So I kind of screwed that up a little bit, honestly. So our battery's up at 90 degrees Fahrenheit. I, I don't think that'll be a problem at all anyway, um, especially because the ambient out there is 59. So as soon as it gets going, it's going to go ahead and, and get that battery optimal temperature. Um, so in fact, will it even let me prepare battery? It shouldn't let me do that. Yeah, battery's too low. All right, let's go ahead and get the charger going and fire it up. The guy beside us just finished, so that's excellent. We're starting, God, fastest handshake in the West, Tesla does. Um, all right, so this is a whole new like charging energy system. So let's go ahead and play with this a bit too. Um, active charge session, graph, 71 kilowatts, 81 kilowatts, it's rocking and rolling. There we go, then we show us actually, just tap on it if you wanna switch between two, 127 kilowatts going on up ends in 53 minutes to go to 85 percent is how it's currently set should be over here right 85 percent there we go starting from 10 percent and uh, we can hear the ac kicking on pretty hard uh, as it goes ahead and cools i can feel it humming through the brake pedal you can see my you can see my foot in the video there it is rocking along we're still doing 205 kilowatts now previously on the max pack somewhere here in the 20 to 30 percent range basically it'll start derating it'll come off this 200 kilowatt peak and start kind of doing its waffle around between let's say 150 to 190 that would go all the way to like 70 percent um we'll see how long we can hold on to 200 kilowatts that would be cool if it hangs on longer TBD. All right, here at like 33%, it seems like we just came off peak charge at 210, and we're starting to uh, gradually maybe come down slightly. Um, we have had, when it ends, come all the way down to 2319, which is like a good, is that like a five minute change from its first estimate? So that's cool to see. Uh, well, you want it to be precise, but having it come down is nicer than going up. Oh, here we're down to 194. Okay, so as we're, we're getting up into the mid 30s, we're starting to slow down a bit from that peak charge power. Um, still, we held that a lot longer than we had previously. Oh, I just heard the AC pump kick out a little louder. Uh, I am still running the AC in the cabin for what it's worth, although it is 59 outside, so I don't think it'll be stressing too much. Uh, but still, this does take up some of the AC uh, AC's power that it could be putting towards the battery pack. Honestly, I don't think it matters a huge amount. Um, the, the larger issue is getting the heat out of the battery pack, not getting the heat from the coolant, the battery coolant, essentially getting that vented out through the air conditioning system. I think it's more of a, uh, almost a mechanical issue with the battery pack and how quickly you can pull the heat out. Um, anyway, I did just hear the AC pump uh, kick on a little louder. Uh, it'll do that now and then, kind of cycling up and down. Uh, anyway, almost to 40%, 50%. And we have only spent a, a handful of minutes under 190 kilowatts. Um, it has been flying this first half. 177 there at 57%. First time going under 180. We've got still just over 18 minutes left on the clock. So it has been basically just 20 minutes since we crossed the 10% mark and we're almost here to 60%. This is flying. This is absolutely on, well, not on fire. Let's not say that. 
Uh, it's uh, <laughs> All right, we're just crossing 70%. Somewhere around here, 69, 70% used to be a substantial step, which, I mean, you can see it kind of tapering down a bit right here, right, about 65% or so. Um, it's, the curve starts dipping down substantially, um, but it's definitely a much smoother curve than the big step that used to happen. Uh, we're still doing 125 kilowatts. The AC is still screaming. The ends at time has stretched out maybe by a minute or two from the low point that it saw at its peak. So maybe it is really kind of thermal throttling right now and doing the best it can. Um, but still feels like, I mean, just, just came back up a little more again. And uh, it is still, what, about 28 minutes from we crossed 10%. Um, so we still have 10 and a half minutes to get to the 38 minute mark. Uh, and we're almost all, you know, nine more percent and we'll be at 80. Oh, 99 kilowatt. We finally dipped below 100 for the first time here just before 79% and we are just ready to cross 80%. We still have four minutes and 23 seconds on the clock here. Check this out, come on, turn on, here we go. Look at that, we're counting down here. Can we hit 80? Can we hit 80 before the, oh my God, this is so crazy. Come on, where's 80, where's 80? should be any moment. I can hear the AC compressor speed slowing down a bit. The kilowatts is slowing down. It definitely is kind of slowing down here as we hit 80%. 80%, there we go. Three, almost four minutes. That should have taken, that should have taken our charge time from 10% to 80% from something like 38. 38 minutes down to 35, maybe even under 35. Freaking nuts. Buckle up, spreadsheet time. So as I mentioned, back in December 2023, I posted some videos talking about the charging curve of the new, at that time, Max Pack, trying to understand how the DC fast charging curve looks, how many miles you actually add within, because the Max Pack is bigger than the standard pack, right? And so you can look at it for time for percent, um, but realistically, if you're going to compare the two, you got to look at how many miles you're adding because the, the fat part of the curve on a max pack holds more miles, right? Anyway, I did a bunch of videos on that. My, my fastest charging time was actually when I got my first Tesla adapter and I went and tested that out right before our big trip to Texas. And um, it was 42.15 minutes, which seemed excellent and wonderful at the time. But then just recently, before this software update came out, I had a chance to go ahead and do some additional profiling and kind of see how fast things are because software updates do change things. This is already a known thing. And at some point in the last year and a half, it went ahead and improved down to 38 minutes, 38.13, essentially four minutes of improvement, uh, which is huge actually. It's, it's, it's very substantial. I hadn't realized that there had been little tweaks and changes throughout the past year and a half uh, to go ahead and improve that. And if we go ahead and look at the numbers here, we can see that with a 4.3 minutes here from 10 to 20%, uh, and then we're staying under five minutes. We're still, actually our fastest time was here from 40% to 50% at 4.19 minutes. That's pretty amazing. And then we finally start slacking off here when we get up to 60% or so. If we look back here, right, the only time block here that was under five minutes was from 10 to 20 percent so significant improvement but of course we just got 2025.18 let's check it out we dropped down to 34 and a third minutes we've got two time blocks that are under four minutes look at that that is amazing from 30 to 40 percent and 40 to 50 percent were absolutely scorchingly fast um, we were a little slow on this initial 10 to 20% block. And I'm going to blame that on my poor job of preconditioning the battery. Uh, I drove the battery down too far. The preconditioning turned off. As you saw, the battery temp was 90 Fahrenheit. I bet you we could have made up a little bit more time there and maybe, maybe have hit 34 minutes even with this total charge. Um, we're finally slowing down to four and a half minutes here when we hit 60%. And, and I mean, I mean... <laughs> 
four and a half minutes is faster, right? It's faster than this, and it's faster than a lot of the time blocks. And compared to the old data here, it's just, it's a joke. It's a, it's totally a joke. From 60 to 70%, that took just under six minutes. Uh, in the old days, right, we were getting that up here, right? In, in the fat part of the curve, we're, we're just, it's blazing along. It's absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and graph this here. The blue line is the 2025-18.1. The gold line is 2025-1401. And the green line is way back when in 2023.42, back in the good old days. Uh, you can, again, you can see kind of a crossover here. Really, I think the blue line should have been as good at least as the gold line. Uh, I think that was, uh, again, my preconditioning mistake there. We could have made up a little more time, but then it just keeps on chugging, keeps on chugging right to the 60% line. It is hauling ass. And then it finally starts slowing down here. Whereas again, the gold line starts tapering off at 40%. Uh, and the, in the good old days, the, the green line here, I mean, it's basically almost a straight line until about 40%. Then it goes up slightly and then it starts tapering. Uh, and it's, that was a joke. That was a joke. So if we look at the actual numbers here, uh, we saved 4.03 minutes from the oldest data to before the update. And if you look total, we have saved 7.82 minutes from the good old days to now. That's a 9.6% improvement. And now we're up to an 18.5. And again, I think we could prove that even better. We could probably hit 19, maybe even 20%. A 20% improvement in 10 to 80% charge gain performance. That is awesome. Congratulations to the Rivian software team. Uh, this new update is absolutely fabulous. Um, cannot wait to go on a road trip. In fact, we've got a couple of planned. We're doing a blitz down to LA actually next weekend to go to the graduation of my sister from nursing school. Congratulations, Sharon. And then the weekend after that, we're gonna head out to Death Valley. So subscribe, like, all that kind of good stuff. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. <laughs>